It's the final three, so this is how our long jump has got to the final. Cacheras was leading this competition, the Spaniard, uh, in round three, went out to 7.97, and then that was matched just uh, after that. He'd already done 7.91 in the first round, was jumping really well. The long jump is going with the wind here, right in front of the home stand. Some of them struggling a little bit to get onto the board, and then Randazzo did very well indeed, followed Cacheras in that third round, the Italian, the 25-year-old, silver medalist at European under-23s a few years back. He went out to 7.99, and the problem there was for Tajay Gale, the world champion, the surprise world champion from 2019, couldn't get to grips with the early conditions. Finally, with his last jump, his last opportunity to qualify for this final three, Eight metres, a, a blow of the cheeks there. He flew in from Jamaica a couple of days ago. He's heading back there on Monday. I bet he wasn't thinking he was going to be jumping in these conditions. conditions but here they are so live now the final round only the best three athletes get to jump in the final round and they'll be going in the reverse order as to how they qualified so first up will be Eusebio Cacheras there's the three of them look at Tajay he's, oh bless you. <laughs> he's a world champion and you know funnily enough he's making a habit of this in, the, in um, I'll talk over the pictures of the other guys that's Cacheras and uh, Randazzo but in those world championships Tajay Gale was 12th in qualifying he only just scraped into the final and he said he was half asleep he didn't really warm up properly and then he came out in the final bang bang he did a personal best I think in one of the early rounds led the competition and then went out to a huge personal best to take the gold medal so will the world champion prevail here or can the man in third as we've seen in these final three jumps can he elevate himself or put a marker down if you like to give himself the chance of winning this so if you're not clear on how this works as i said these three have qualified the other position stairs they are fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth but these three the positions can change i feel like i'm doing the eurovision song contest over again if anyone was watching that yesterday around the world is the one that so Cacheras, any long, any no jumps, any all that you do in this final round is what counts. It doesn't matter what you've done before. So Gail leading with eight meters, that doesn't matter. It's what they do now. So here goes the Spaniard. Oh, is that no jump? He really went for it. I think if you're in third place, oh, he's got the white flag. Well, he did attack it. And I think if you are starting in the third spot, you have to do that. There's no second opportunity here. Now, we'll see the same as he'll see. Well, the Spaniard really has set the mark here. Eight metres and four. Now then, that is the longest jump we've seen so far today. Regardless, will it be good enough? Filippo Straight on Randazzo, following Filippo Randazzo of Italy. Good performance in Savona in Italy just last week. Different conditions to this and he'd have to emulate that because it was 8 metres 5 and that's what he needs here to go into the lead. Oh, again, pretty good on the ball, that's not far away. White flag. Completely different technique. Look at him. He's uh, big and powerful. Doesn't quite generate as much speed, though, does he? But good lift off the board. He's a big man. Eight for the lead. <laughs> Just looking to wait to see. Oh, 8 11. He's gone into the lead. And that is one centimeter of his personal best so the italian leads the world champion now knows what he has to do finally woke up in round five jumped eight meters needs to go further here all eyes on the world champion from jamaica opened his season with 827 back in april said he was pleased with that it's a good start to his year what has the world champion got tajay gale from jamaica the world champion Oh, no, that doesn't look far enough, does it? 
that does not look far enough it is a white flag so this is how it works as i said whatever you've done doesn't matter coming into this it's all about this jump if it's not further than 8 11 it doesn't look as though it is it's 791 the victory will go to randazzo of italy and to be fair he's won it with the longest jump of the competition eight meters 11 that's how it should be really i guess and not this isn't everybody's liking but it's a way of showcasing the final round of the top three athletes we'll be seeing it in the shot put the triple jump and the javelin here today so there he is the winner and with a very very good performance of course the win was plus 3.6 so it's not a, a legal jump in that sense anything over two meters per second uh, We'll get a little W against it, so but doesn't matter for him. He's won. 804 Kacher is in second place, and Gale having to settle for third with 791.